What up, Internet? Welcome to News OK TV. I'm Dave Morris. And I'm Angie Bruss. Thanks so much for joining us. It's Friday. It's August 17th, 2012. I'm just a little excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward to lunch. Yes. I'm Angie Bruss. Thanks so much for joining Dave and I. All right, the University of Oklahoma is welcoming its largest freshman class in school history. At more than 4,100 students, this year's freshman class tops last year's freshman class, size of just more than 4,000. At the time, last year's freshman class represented the largest in state history at a four-year public university. OU's freshman classes have grown steadily in recent years, climbing at just 26, climbing from just 2,600 in 1995. Oklahoma City nearly leads the nation in hotel occupancy growth. This according to a quarterly report from Smith Travel Research, and that's been reflected in hotel tax re revenue that continues to exceed expectations. The city performed more than 8% better than the national average, and only Oahu had a better performance. The Oklahoma Steve Blackmire reports with the deadline looming for Oklahoma City's first national center to go into receivership. A potential sale is in the works. It involves the center and east portions of the complex being converted into structured parking. The proposal calls for two garage entrances facing two garage entrances facing Park Avenue and one facing Broadway. Ground floor retail would be maintained in the central building facing Park Avenue. As you know, First National Center spans three buildings totaling more than one million square feet with office space on the upper floors and retail on the ground floor arcade. Well, the Oklahoma's Jennifer Palmer reports if the building permit is any indication, a Nordstrom rack is planned for Bell Isle Station with a spring opening. A $2 million permit to remodel the former Linens and Things space was filed Thursday with the City of Oklahoma City by a firm that designs Nordstrom stores. Nordstrom Rack is the off-price division of Nordstrom Inc. It would mark the company's first entry into the Oklahoma market. Protective acrylic windows could be attached to the inside of each of the 16 windows in the Oklahoma Capitol Dome. It's meant to protect artwork, art, and architecture. Sunlight coming through the dome is having an adverse effect on portraits and murals on and above the fourth floor rotunda. Law officers swept through the Sooner Haven apartments on Thursday on Oklahoma City's northeast side, arresting eight people, about 75 Oklahoma City police, FBI agents, and Oklahoma City Housing Authority employees were serving warrants and checking for people living in, living in the complex whose names weren't on leases. Three men decided to climb the Skydance Bridge sculpture above I-40. They were arrested on complaints of trespassing on public property. Oklahoma City police responded to a possible suicide call just after midnight Tuesday and found three men climbing on the structure. Well, here's your Oklahoma weather forecast for Friday. Scattered showers and storms may develop during morning hours across southwest Oklahoma and western North Texas with redevelopment later in the day. Isolated showers and storms will be possible elsewhere. Storms may produce brief gusty winds, lightning and heavy rainfall. Higher rain chances will occur through Saturday across the area, though widespread heavy rainfall remains unlikely. A cold front will bring cooler weather Friday through Sunday. Drier weather with a slow warming trend can be expected for the early part of next week. Former OSU football star Justin Blackman makes his NFL debut today with the Jacksonville Jaguars in preseason action. He has also vowed to stop drinking. He has a contract guarantee with a no problems incentive. Blackman will make his pro football debut Friday night during an exhibition game against the New Orleans Saints. Well, movie reviews and trailers can be found online at newsok.com today. This weekend's openings include The Expendables 2, Sparkle, Ruby Sparks, and Paranorman. Which I know that one sounds really fun and very unique, Paranorman. So we'll see. Kyle Roberts. He's excited about that one. He's one of our videographers. Yeah, I think he was excited about Expendables 2. You yeah, know, all the all, and, the, and, yeah. all the old guys coming That's back. That's true. That's true. But the Paranorman one, I think it has a lot of stop motion and stuff in it, so that one should be. Oh yeah, that's right. Sure. It should be interesting. Yeah, but I love that the Expendables two brings back those guys that we all grew up watching. You know, the action guys. That's sure. awesome. So fun. <laughs> all right. Again, you can find those trailers and all these stories online at newsok.com. Yep. See ya.